It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Hello to all, may God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a pleasure to be back with you in your program, Problems and Solutions. And we are here in this night to show you a way out of your problems, regardless of your religions. If you are there on the other side, depressed, you know, with suicidal thoughts, with your ways blocked, I want to invite you to stay with us. And tonight, we're going to watch the story of Ricardo that arrived at the help center with his life totally destroyed. Until one day, he was healed from inside. Because let me tell you something. Sometimes you are there with a problem, with an addiction. You are there with a, some, with a, with a frustration in life. But uh, the greatest problem of all is not the problems that are around you or surrounding you, but is the problems that are inside of you. Because sometimes you carry it inside of you a sadness that you don't know and you don't have words to express. Sometimes you are depressed and how many people suffer with depression and maybe you are one of those and you don't have any reason to be depressed because sometimes you have family, sometimes you, are, you have a, a good condition of life and you don't know, you don't know why you carry this sadness. Or maybe you are alone and you are depressed because of the problems that are around you but you don't know how to solve the biggest of all problems that is inside of you. Watch the story of Ricardo and you're going to discover what the true God does. You know, God, when comes upon someone, he doesn't just change the person from outside only. God, the transformation of God starts from inside out and you're going to find through this testimony. If you'd like to be in contact with us, you have our telephone number 08612-1255 or you can reach us through the WhatsApp number that is below your screen or if you are watching me from Facebook, you can reach us through the, face, the Facebook page of the church, Universal Church Sweden, okay? This is your program, Problems and Solutions. Meu nome é Ricardo. My name is Ricardo. I'm 43 years old. I'm a businessman in the beauty area. And in the beginning of my life, with 14 years old, I left the house of my parents to work. So I could uh, have uh, conditions. My parents didn't have any condition. We would be through a very hardship. So I left my parents' house and went to work for a plate of food. I would live in a small room. And in this small room, I remember it was just one room. There was no no sink, no toilet. It was shared with everyone. And many times when we want to use, we have to take a queue. And we wait on the queue to use the toilet to wash our clothes. So at that moment in my life, what was my dream? My dream was just to rent a room with a toilet. And I was working and studying. And when I was already over 18, I met a lady on the school. We got engaged. We got married. When we got married, I said, now it's going to work because it's going to be two people working. What do we think? Two people working, we can develop, we can grow financially, we can pay the bills, and we will not be through problems anymore. Indeed, at that moment, we could rent a bigger room. But uh, for my surprise, I remember one night... Uh, we wake up with a lot of noise and movements. When I stand and I turn on the light, that room that we have rented, it was filled with rats. So I could note at that moment that they were the true tenants in that house and not me. So it was a frustrated life. 
and to summarize, was 18 years paying rent, over 20 years working for other people. I was always running after happiness, thinking that this would change to get a sad family. When I get in the church, I find out that there was nothing of that. A gente mergulhou. We dive body, soul and mind in the words that the man of God was speaking and that the Bible was telling to us. I knew that I have to become a new man, a new creature. And this the man of God was telling. We should be born again, be a new person. And he started to say that this was only possible through the Holy Spirit. So when I understood about the Holy Spirit, so then I went for all nothing. All that he was telling, we would put in practice and put all our strength. Came uh, the campaign of Israel. In the first day they thought about the campaign, I got an understand about why I needed to do it. Because my life was frustrated. There was a lack in me of the most precious. So when the pastor spoke about the campaign, I didn't know about the campaign. I didn't understand about what I needed to do, but I wanted to do it. I must do it because I want this for my life. So when we get to the altar, we got the envelope. We go home without having even 10 crowns. And I ask, what am I going to do if I don't have anything? So I remember when I got in the sofa and I look at the TV, I said, that's, that's it. I'm going to sell this TV. I'm going to sacrifice my TV because it's the best electronic I have. We paid one year and it was what I was going to do. So in the first day of the campaign, that was... The more I was taking part of the service, that fire was inside of me. I, I was sure of what I wanted to do in my life. So it was burning inside of me. It was consuming me in such a way that I would look to the fridge, to the washing machine, to the microwave. And I said, this is this it. I'm going to sell everything. I'm going to put everything on the altar, put all my strength. My wife has been in the church with me, and she was understanding everything also. And when the campaign came, she came together with me. Not even one moment the pastor or anybody in the church told me, you have to do this or that amount. Nobody, nothing. Inside of me, there was this necessity to do it. Mas But when you say car, car, it was the greatest asset I have because I use it to take the family around, the children to go to the supermarket. Then I said, the car, no, the car, no, the car, no. And inside of me, there was this fight and I was frightening and I was, my legs was shaking and I didn't know how to tell my wife that God was asking the car. When I had the courage to tell her, I said, honey, I was thinking today about the car. I was thinking that she was going to fight with me and say that I was crazy. And uh, at that moment, she looked at me and I thought the same thing she said. We hug each other. We cry a lot. We got the decision. We put to sale the car. And I knew the day we got to fulfill a vow. We looked and there was a lot of cash because we didn't put in the bank. A lot of money we never seen. Aquelas notas viram um dinheiro que a gente nunca tinha visto na vida. But we look at that money and said, from today on, tá it's decided casa, this family, família. the money is not the Lord's house. God is the Lord. So we went with this assurance. There was not just about the money we were putting on the altar. We went with assurance that there was our life our frustrations, our doubts, every questions we have inside of us, we put on that envelope. I remember as if it was today, when we climbed the altar, we had assurance that we were putting 
our lives there. We climbed with our life. It was not just with money, paper. It was our life. And when we got up there, there was the hardest steps of our lives. There on the top of the altar, I opened my soul and I entered the heavens. I look to God and I say, I know I'm not worth it. Eu sei que não sou merecedor. But you promise that those who would come to me, by no means I would cast them out. Even if I was the most despised of all the creatures and the worst, I wanted it. I wanted what he promised. And his promise is like a contract that is registered. That moment, <risos> o Espírito Santo me faz ver quem eu era. The Holy Spirit came and made me to see who I was. In His infinite mercy, even I was not deserving it, and without explaining why, Ele He me forgave me, and He hugged me. And he said, it's over. That moment, I felt cleansed, washed. Could see that inside of me, there was a new being being born. There was the birth of a new Ricardo, a new me. I didn't like who I was. And today changed. Today I have pleasure. Because I am a person that, that I never dreamed to be. Today I can fazer o bem do good for que eu people that I hurt it. Today I'm a good son that I never dreamed of being. A husband um that I never dreamed to be. Eu I am um a father that I que never que knew existir. that you could exist. O meu My sonho dream era ter um was banho. to have a toilet. It was to rain a, a room with a toilet. That was my dream. Today I don't have this problem anymore. Today we live in an apartment with six bathrooms. Front through the sea. It's a wonderful place. It's much more than I ever dreamed. Than that I ever asked God. And to summarize. We continue from campaign to campaign. Faith to faith. Always sacrificing. We never stop sacrificing. Every time that the campaign comes inside of us, there is a fire because we know what the altar has for us. All the frustration in life finish. At that day, it stayed there on the altar. Today, I don't have just one house. I have some houses. We have a, a farm that is a beautiful land, very big. We have a huge house with three suites, three rooms. And everything was planned. It's a huge house with our swimming pool for the glory of God. This year, God gave to us what is financially our biggest asset physically is our apartment. It's a huge apartment, marvelous. I have no problem with bathrooms here. There are six toilets, six bathrooms. It's a huge five rooms, the living room, the office. My greatest pleasure is not on the things that money can buy. My greatest joy, family, in the faith that we have, uh, the courage, the boldness we have. Uh, The greatest pleasure is in our character. Today, the values is not bought by money. But with all, all these assets, nothing's compared to what is more precious in my life is the Holy Spirit. It's salvation. We are back with you in the same way, my dear friend, that Ricardo found help you can find help as well. We are here open and available to talk to you. Our address is Birga Yasgotan 106. Right now, as you know, uh, we are having some restrictions of numbers of people, but you can call to make an appointment. If you'd like to talk to us, if 
you want to talk to a pastor, if you'd like some counsel, you can call 0861-212-55 or you can text us to our WhatsApp or through an SMS and we're going to have the times, we're going to give you the time that uh, you can meet someone and talk to us here in Stockholm or in Gothenburg or if you are calling or watch me, I mean, from any part of Sweden, Norway, you also can call us and we're going to have the pleasure to help you. Okay, in this moment of the end of year, in this moment of life where there are many people that uh, doesn't know what to do with their problems, sometimes you are hoping that this year of 2020 finish because of so many troubles, of so many problems. But let me tell you that uh, the only and the best way for you to have a blessed 2021 is with the Spirit of God by your side. And this is what we are here to tell you. You can be happy. You didn't found this program by coincidence. God make you to find us because he wants to change your life. Not tomorrow, not next week. You want to change your life today. Okay? I'll be waiting for your call. And uh, surely that the same way that Ricardo received help, you'll receive as well. May God bless you all of you. It was a pleasure to be with you. And until next time. The UCKG is aware of and will continue to follow up on the development of precautions that have been implemented in the prevention and fight against the COVID-19 virus. Following the restrictions given by the Swedish government, as of Tuesday, 24th of November, all meetings will be restricted up to a maximum of eight people. You will have to schedule a time to be able to attend the services, and by doing so, we will make sure we will all be protected. With the objective of attaining the same safety levels as the local premises and work sites, we have compiled a series of safety measures to be taken into effect. Displaying official notices provided by the Department of Health in Sweden, providing the means of practicing good personal hygiene, hand sanitizing, and washing of hands with soap. Raising awareness. Action will be undertaken by the church ministers to avoid being in close physical contact or proximity with members and also minimizing physical contact amongst the members. Providing multiple services throughout the day will enable participation. However, this will be by appointment only in order to avoid more than eight people as per advice received from the health department in Sweden. Please schedule a time to attend the services on 072-061-4958. Should you have any flu symptoms or are from the group of risk, participate in our online services. UCKG Help Center. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Do you want out? That's fine with me. 